And what essentially it is, is Hello, hello, it is Lisa Marie Hurley. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I am in the streets of Thornbury and this video is on Dehancer, which is a software plugin where you can essentially emulate the look of film. Now, you cannot really exactly replicate film in my personal opinion. I've actually been wanting to use Dehancer. I wanted to buy their plugin. So it's worked out perfectly that they reached out to me and to test out their software plugin. We're just gonna walk around the neighborhood, take some photos and I will go home and show you guys how to use Dehancer and I'm gonna show you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. They want my honest review and I'm going to give that to you. So now we're back home. I have popped up DaVinci Resolve Studio and thanks to my partner, we were able to shoot that really good quality content on his Sony. So now that I have DaVinci Resolve opened, I'm going to import the video content that we just shot earlier. So now I'm going to input the color space transform information, everything here, input color space, this is the profile we used and put all of the information through here. And then I essentially just did a basic color correction to the video because we shot in raw. Now, mind you, this isn't using Dehancer just yet. I just did basic color correction on my video and we're going to open up Dehancer now and add some cool film edits to it. So here we have our color profiles. You can see Kodak Portra 160, 800, 400, keep going down. There's so much, like there are so many color profiles, which is amazing. Fujifilm Instax, Fuji Color, C200, and you can essentially just go through Sign Still, Sin Still, whatever the hell it's called, Fuji Chrome, and yeah, and then from there, you can essentially push or pull the film, which is pretty cool. And then you scroll down and you can add film grain and just essentially tweak your edits. At the end here, you can actually adjust the strength. So I thought that was pretty cool because before it was like on very subtly and I decided to add a little bit more strength so you can really, really see the difference between the different color profiles. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and say I know everything about DaVinci Resolve. Um, I'm still fairly new to this program, kind of using this as a beginner, just to keep that in mind. Before I get into the iOS version, I wanna let you guys know that I have a 10% off promo code. So you can use this promo code on any product from Dehancer. And it's not only compatible with DaVinci Resolve, you can use it on Adobe Premiere, you can also use it on Final Cut Pro. So you do have some options there. I have just downloaded Dehancer on my iPhone and I have a fun little photo of a mango that I'm going to edit. And we're gonna go in here and just have a look at some of the color profiles and the different types of films that they have to offer. Now there's Kodachrome, there's Fuji Color, there is Afka Color. There's quite a bit of different films in here. And I'm just gonna go with the Portra 400 because that's a classic. And I really like the color profile of the Portra 400 on Dehancer. So everything is already done for me when I click on the color profile, but if I want to, I can change the exposure, the color density, I can change the saturation. So if I want to, I can make those further tweaks. Now I will say if you wanna reset it back to zero from the tweaks, I will say it's a little bit tricky. Um, I had to kind of really slowly go back on my thumb and um, kind of slipped a couple times to get it exactly perfectly back to 0.00. .00. But other than that, I feel like it's pretty simple to use. So on the left here is the iPhone version and on the right is the edited version in Dehancer. This is the Porsche 400. You can see the difference and I quite like like the fade to it and the colors as well. I'm gonna actually use this photo, which is a selfie I took on my digital camera. Now I wanted to use my digital camera because I used an iPhone photo and I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like 
using a raw image and again there's the color profiles that you can have a look through and choose which one you want i chose kodak ektar and then i've just exported the photo and then on the left is the original version and the right is the ektar version you can see that warmth to my face change well, i want to say i did not get paid for this video okay this is not paid however i do get paid if you use my promo code if you want to try out dehancer if you liked what you saw let me know what you guys think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching my girl wants to party all the time party all the time party all the time